Hello everybody, it's Payam here from Niche. Hope you're well. Right, in this episode, I thought we'll uh, look at some data. And specifically, I've compiled some data as of yesterday um, of some of the best products that I see in the market based on loan to value. So 95%, 90%, 80%, 75%, 70%. Also, we've looked at two-year fixed this, two-year variable with and without early repayment charges as well as the five-year fix option. So let's get an overview of what the rates look like. If you are someone who's coming up for a remortgage or someone who's looking to buy um, in, in, the, in this current climate, obviously everything's up in the air. So it's good for us to get an overview of where things are, how we think things are going to progress. It is for information purposes. Guys, as everything, you, if you need advice, you need to contact an independent mortgage broker. All of these videos are not giving advice. I'm not telling you to go and pick this lender on that lender. In fact, I'm not going to name the lenders because of this. So I'll catch you on the video. Let me know what you think. Take care. at this so um, I've only looked at residential mortgages I will have a look at buy to let later but it's to be honest with you it's no point because the way rental calculations work it's just it's just mayhem uh, so we'll concentrate on, on, on residentials for now um, as I mentioned to you I took these figures on the yesterday um, what I mean by variable rates this could include tracker rate discounted rate standard variable rates so I've put it all into one I've based it on a purchase price of £300,000, so it's not for remortgages, it's just for purchases. However, if you are someone who's going to look to remortgage, it should give you an overview of where things are anyway, and obviously specific rates you can double check with your mortgage broker. Um, we've excluded some of the products that have got direct, that just deal directly with the banks, so for example, First Direct. Um, because I don't have access to them, so uh, they only deal directly, they don't deal with brokers, so my system does not produce them, or we've chosen not to show you them for now. Um, right, so let's have a look at it. Uh, a two-year variable, so you've got two-year variable with or without early repayment charge. So what an early repayment charge is, very simply, is basically if you're in a two-year period, three-year period, five-year period, you generally have a penalty to get out of that. So if you want to sell or you want to refinance somewhere else, then you have generally have to pay an early repayment charge. Now, what and no early repayment charge is obviously you don't have that variable rate. So you might have a two year. This two year will have an early repayment charge. This two year doesn't have any early repayment charges. You may pay an admin fee of, I don't know, 50 pounds or something, but generally you can get out without paying the penalty a fee. Now, why is it useful? Well, I've talked about this in, in the past. It is very useful at the moment in this current environment. It is because it can give you some breathing space out there. So first of all, for people that are looking to purchase, maybe they think interest rates are not going to go up as much. Maybe they think the market has panicked um, and they're willing to take that additional risk because it is risky. Remember, the Bank of England um, committee is sitting down on the 3rd of November. My own prediction is I believe interest rates will go up by around 1%. Uh, let's see. Let me know what you guys think. It'll be interesting to see what you guys think about it. But the way that uh, the, the, the rates are, obviously the Bank of England right now is 2.25 and we're seeing rates of ridiculous. So it's got to catch up and I think shorter term interest rates are going to rise. Um, but I think personally, I think the market has overreacted um, uh, on things. So there could be some people that think similar and may go for a tracker rate but you've got to get independent advice around this and and um, unfortunately you know this is this video is definitely not advice okay but what I would say even if you came to advice and got advice from me or other brokers out there it's very hard unless we sit down and we have a conversation with you and say right where's your incoming where's your outgoing what's your savings do you have any other money coming to you how much savings have you got there do you think you can cope with a 2% rise, 3% rise, 4% rise, and um, what's the loan to value? You know, all of that stuff, you've got to work all of that out. Have you got family money, money coming to you? Have you got any other buy to let assets? Have you got any other liabilities that could be a problem? All of those things will make a decision of whether you go for this, such a, such a strategy. So, but it gives you an idea, there is some margin here between the ones with early repayment charge and without the early repayment charges. Have a look at the two-year fixed here, guys. 
absolute mind boggling. So not only that poor person with a 5% deposit has to come up with a deposit of 5%, but they've already said we've only got 5%, but now they have to pay 6.41 on their mortgage. And guess what? Affordability is going to be tougher. I have to say today is probably one of, the, one of those days where I've turned away more business than we've had for in a long, long time. And it's not me turning away the business, it's me not being able to get the client's affordability to meet their expectations. So honestly, several, several times I've had conversations with more. Um, I'm just trying to think how many, I don't know, eight, nine clients, I think. I've had to turn around and say, well, you can't afford what you want to do. To do. So um, affordability is an issue, because remember, you know, lenders are working out these sort of rates. So, but have a look at this. The interesting thing is on a five year fixed, five year fixes are cheaper than two year fixes. So they think, what I'm thinking here, the, the banks think this is going to be a short term, you know, two year, three year cycle. Um, interesting enough, I tried to look at some three year fixes and there wasn't many out there. So um, that tells me the lenders think in the five year time, it's not going to be, you know, madness. But what do they know? They were pricing themselves, you know, I was getting people mortgages 1.5%, 2% last year. So it just shows no one really knows, right? And don't, don't believe everybody. Do your own research and do your own risk assessment. No broker or lender will be able to tell you about your finances as best as you can. Because you know your finances. You know where things are. So, um... I hope you found this useful, guys. Let me know what you think about it. I think, you know, in, in terms of the, uh, the figures here, it does, you know, you look, at, look at the 60% one here, right? So someone who's got 40% deposit on a five-year fixed, right, is 5.39. And that's, these are top rates out of the charts right now, right? So if you've got 40% deposit, you're still paying 5.39, okay? If you've got 5% deposit, you're paying 5.95. How is that? How is that fair? So it just says the pricing, the way they get their money is expensive. That's why they can't price for risk. I know who I would like to lend to. If it was me, I would lend to the person who's got 40% deposit than the person that's got 5% deposit. Bearing in mind all the stuff you're hearing about negative equity and all sorts. Okay, I always felt the, the sweet spot in a lot of the lending criteria is between 75 and 85 percent. So there are some lenders that have actually got a sweet spot. Um, Barclays, Barclays used to be, I don't know now, but they used to be really good at 80 percent loan to value when it came to affordability calculations. So they would lend you more at 80 percent loan to value. So there are some sweet spots when it comes to affordability. Like I said, these are just rates. This is not early repayment charges. Well, on some of them, but there's no other fees associated, legal fees, solicitor's fees, survey fees, uh, admin fees, lender fees. I haven't taken any of that into account. All I've done is said, what's, give me some of the top rates out there. I'll catch you on the next one. Let me know what you think. Take care. All the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.